Mike the Monster Truck Picks His Paint Once upon a time, there was a happy monster truck called Mike. Mike lived with his mummy, daddy, and sister Maddie in a little house called Rainbow Cottage, which was close to Beep City. Beep City was a noisy town with lots of vehicles and shops. It had a big stadium where the monster truck championships were held. Mike dreamed of winning lots of races there when he was all grown up. And having lots of shining trophies, just like his mummy and daddy. One day, Mike's teacher asked him to represent his class in the next school race. Mike was very excited. He drove home as fast as his tyres would carry him and told his family all about being chosen for the race. Well done, smiled Mummy. Now you can pick your monster truck paint. Every monster truck had special paint they wore for races and rallies. Daddy was the slime monster with a squidgy green splat on his hood and a fuzzy fanged monster on his bumper. Mummy was the tangerine dream with a bright orange body and a sleepy ginger cat. Her bumper had a curly tail with black and orange stripes. Auntie Mavis was the fiery flame. Her bright red body blazed with brilliant stripes. She always drew big crowds at monster truck rallies. Uncle Marv was the teal terror. He had big horns and spiky teeth. Marv always gave an engine roar whenever he did jumps or wheelies. There were so many paint colours and so many designs that Mike didn't know what to choose. He decided to ask his family which paint to pick. Pick a pattern that reminds you of delicious food, suggested Grandpa. He was sponsored by his favourite burrito place and ate there after every race. Unicorns, squeaked Maddie, dreaming of when she would speed past the finish line, covered from bonnet to bumper in sparkly pink paint. Be a big, beastly bear, roared Cousin Melvin, so you can scare all the other trucks at the rally. Mike felt very confused. Everyone suggested a different paint, he thought, and I don't know how to choose between them. Maybe I will tell my teacher I can't be in the race, and then nobody will be disappointed that I didn't pick their idea. The next day, Mike told his teacher how he couldn't choose between the paints his family had suggested. I think I'm going to have to give up on being in the race, he said, so I don't disappoint anyone. The teacher smiled gently. It's okay, Mike, he said. The reason you're confused is that the one person you didn't ask to choose your paint was yourself. It's good to care about your friends' and family's opinions, said the teacher, but the only monster truck who can choose your paint is you. Just think about what makes you the most happy, said the teacher, and then you'll know which paint to choose. That night, Mike imagined all the most wonderful and happy things he could think of. He thought about sunshine, playing with friends, and eating ice cream sundaes at the pit stop parlour. After a while, Mike knew which paint to choose. The next day, Mike asked his family if they would come with him to Beep City Auto Shop. He was ready to choose his paint! At the auto shop, Mike told the mechanic exactly which paint he wanted. He was very excited. When Mike came out of the auto shop, his family admired his new monster truck paint. He had chosen a bright and beautiful rainbow with all of the colours that were close to his heart. Rainbows make me the most happy, said Mike, because they remind me of all the different colours I like and all the people I love. Mummy, Daddy and Maddie were very proud of Mike. He was ready for his first school race. 
You're going to be great, said Mummy, and she was right. But that is a story for another day. For more great stories, subscribe to the Story Patch. Thank you.